Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking this week at the four phases of a tennis match, all four extremely important, but today's phase number three comes after number one, which is the beginning phase, two, which is the uh, building phase, and the, although I don't condone murder, the third phase today is the execution phase. All right, so a couple things we got going on in the execution phase. First, on my side of the net, this is my best tennis, all right? So usually in a day-to-day -day scenario, you know, things might go well, other things might break down. At this point, I've now figured out what's working really well for me today, what my strengths are, and I'm using those today in particular, okay? So aggressive hitting, whether that's your forehand or your backhand, whether that's you attacking in, you guys are at a point in the match now, probably late in the first set, definitely, early in the second set where you guys are playing your highest level of tennis, okay? So with that being said, we're playing aggressively and now we really have our strategy set in stone for the day. We've kind of felt out the opponent a little bit, figured a few things that they're doing well and a few things that they're not. And now we're really going after some of these set plays that you know a lot of us practice. Certain ones are gonna work really well for today after I've figured out what's going great for me and what's not going great for them. As you know, uh, I'm always a big fan of the, the forehand and running around the backhand a little bit, starting to rip that ball into the backhand corner. Something that I can hang my hat on where I really feel like it's a, it's a mapped out scenario now between here and the end of the match, something that I can just follow the breadcrumbs all the way to the end of the match. And this really, you guys, is um, something we hope lasts a long time. We really hope the execution phase lasts a long time. One mistake I see a lot though is you guys will skip the first two phases. You'll skip the beginning phase, you'll skip the building phase, and you'll kind of come out naively at the start of a match or in a warm-up and think you need to be in the execution phase from the get-go. And that's just not something you even see the pros do. Okay, all the really classic points that you guys see on YouTube between two high-level pros, I will guarantee you're never seeing those points occur in the first game of a match. And you're definitely not seeing those happen in the warm-up. Those are happening in the execution phase where both guys are now rolling. They're both at the top, top levels of their game and you see just these amazing points unfold. And that's something that you guys uh, need to allow some time for at the start of a match to be able to get into. Don't allow it to be the, you know, the end of the second set. Try to have, kind of gear it towards the end of the first set. Start to play very aggressively. But you need that window to work into your best tennis, all right? And again, the pros are a great example of this. If you saw a three out of five set match, you're seeing them ride out their best tennis probably for three full sets, but you're usually seeing you know, a whole set at the start of a match where the tennis is good, but it's not mind-blowing, okay? So hopefully that takes some of the pressure off you guys knowing that the execution phase should be the longest period of your match where you're hopefully just playing great tennis, but you also have that window to be able to get to that spot, all right? So we're gonna come at you tomorrow with the final phase of these four phases of a tennis match. But until then, please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.